Oogie Domain. This is Silencer. That guy over there is Cryptic Mac, Buddy Tony. Um, Jeff. Today, we are uh, doing something a little different. As you can see, we are not using Mr. Wonderful. Uh, quite to the contrary, we're actually using X, which was named and was given to Tony when we won the last, I'm sorry, two Coconara contests ago. This is one we actually got sent over to us from Raid, right and uh, we wanted to uh, we wanted to do a little evaluation of it for you guys, let you know what it was like. For those who were in the contest here recently, there's a good possibility you may end up winning one of these, so it'd be nice to know how it's smoke. Um, as you can see, the the flavors that we're doing in here actually for this review were, uh, Jonathan, were sent to us over from Jonathan. You're right, over at Sahara Smoke. Um, this is just the sidebar. But um, one of the times when he sent us one of the packages, you know, a review box for us to take care of for him, he sent along a series of these. Um, they're literal hookah hookah recipe, uh, recipe menu books. And I thought they were really cool because, you know, for newer smokers who are not familiar with blending your stuff, it basically gives you a breakdown of a variety of different flavors and what hookah hookah uh, tobaccos to put together to make them. For instance, you'll see right about there is the mocha latte. A little bit of Irish cream, some mocha and hazelnut. Um, but we got about three or four of these a piece. And, uh, you know, we thought it was kind of a nifty idea. So, uh, you know, to do the review for Tony's Hookah, since it's not actually a shisha review and we can pretty much put whatever the hell we want in there, we figured we'd bust out the three-headed bowl, as you can see up there. From Hookah Addiction. That uh, the guys over at Hookah Addiction were nice enough to send to us and uh, get all three of them blended together. And we wanted to try one of the recipes called Purple Haze, which is a uh, two shots of grape, one shot of... Um, seven Spice. Seven Spice from Hookah Hookah. And uh, we wanted to see how that one would taste. And it tastes pretty good. Well, we can review the individuals later. But as far as how this guy smokes... Uh... It smokes okay. I've been using it, well, since we've got it. And, uh, it depends on, <coughs> since you can't get a windscreen on it, because, you know, it's like that fucking tall up there. Yeah, even without using the 3 <coughs> bolt, I might ask. Tony, can you, um, can you grab the one that it comes with by chance real fast? Yeah, it's over here. I'll show you which one it is. As you can see, it's a standard Egyptian style. Um... Look again, very similar to a lot of hookah designs you will see out there. There are a couple of things I personally really liked about it. First of all, the base. Um, very oh. nicely done. Uh, it looks like somebody actually put some craft into it a little bit, so that was kind of cool. Thanks, Tony. Um, very, very stable, which is something else I like. The base is much wider, uh, so it provides a good bit of stability. Um, this is basically lightweight aluminum that the uh, stem is constructed out of. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not disassemble, though. So this, every pretty much everything you see on this thing that is metal stays in one piece with the exception of the ashtray up top. So, um, again, it, it's all in all, it's a pretty good hookah. I like the fact that it has a very stable base. Um, cloud size, admittedly, from time to time, it has been known to you know leave us wanting. I mean, it doesn't have the same features as some of the more intricate or commercial hookahs is not an auto seal for instance well it depends on uh for cloud size um one time i turned my fan on i know i'm, I'm standing right here yeah i was about um, to say they're just kind of hearing tony's voice from nowhere but uh i turned my fan on just to see if it would help to you know heat the coal up which it did a lot and with proper meat heat meat yeah proper meat handling uh proper heat management uh you know, you could get decent clouds. It's just without being able to put a windscreen on it, I've never actually looked to see if we could get an accessory for, for an Egyptian, but um, that would probably help out a lot for clouds. But other than that, I mean, just to sit back and smoke <coughs> for a little while, play around with, I, it does great. Right? It's, it's, an excellent, it's an excellent hookah if oh. you're just looking to smoke. You're not looking or super clouds, or, you know, doing all kinds of crazy tricks, or, you know, putting heavy diffusers on it. This is easily a very simple, very straightforward piece of pipe, and it's it gets the job done. That's, that's really what it does. All right. Now, right uh, here. the bowl, the standard one that comes with it. This is just the standard bowl. Egyptian clay there, bowl. There um, you can see the inside. Nothing too terribly fancy about yeah. it. Um, Big hole. 
lot, lots of them, lots of, I mean, you know, you see tons of varieties of those Egyptian clay yeah. bowls on the market, so they're, they're very, they're very common. <coughs> the, um, the default hose it comes with is actually what we're using here, and it's weird because I, it's, I think it's made of a cork. Yeah. Like a cork yeah. type material. Um, so I, I gotta admit that was a little different because, you know, you Typical hoses, you know, like Maya hoses you would get, or a hose when you order from Huga Dash Shisha, they have a you know a little, little bit of that plastic on the outside. This one's just straight up flexible cork, and, um, which I found kind of interesting. Stretching and compressing. Mm. Yeah, and Another useful feature about wood. it is it actually does have a wide enough top to be able to accommodate all size ice cubes, which, which is any, awesome. Anyone who makes them at their house knows exactly what I'm talking about because sometimes it is a pain in the ass to get them to go down the base. But um, a few of the uh, a few of the downsides, the things that I wasn't really thrilled about. For one thing, um, and again, it's an Egyptian. I understand it's not supposed to be able to be modified into a two hose. But if you look very carefully, you'll see that there actually is a second spout coming out right here where my thumb's at. And what I don't understand is why. What function does it serve if it's going to be a single hose? You can't remove the thing. All it does is kind of look like um, somebody stuck a drill bit on the end of it, just sort of melded it to the side of it. The only thing I can understand what this is used for is after you're done smoking or, you know, if it gets harsh. I admit they, it's probably being used as a purge valve, but... Yeah, you take it... Come on, we just suck out whatever's left over in the chamber when we're done anyway. That's pretty much what it's used for. That Well, I've actually... I've only used that once, and... That was when I burnt my shisha <laughs> with the fan turned on. <coughs> nice. Um, the other thing I don't care for is I don't know if it's... I don't blame the hookah, I blame the grunt. Because if you can tell right here, see that giant gap? That's from trying to put the stem into the vase and it's just... The damn thing's just so fat, it won't go in all the way. The way it's shaped, and I'm sure you guys can't see it from this distance on it, but believe it or not, the grommet's actually sitting crooked a little bit. And that's the, that's the way it stem. fits. The whole thing is actually leaning a couple of centimeters to the right, or my right, your guys' left. Um, so there, there's a little bit of concern right there. It's, it's very stable, though. I mean, we haven't ever had it not fall over yet. But um, that is a reason to be concerned, although I'm sure we could alleviate that problem by buying just a different grommet from a different vendor. Um, the final thing that I don't like, and Tony disagrees with me a little bit on this from time to time, mm -hmm. I, I don't like, you remember the day we got it? I, I don't like how lightweight oh, yeah. the, the whole stem assembly is. As I mentioned earlier, it was lightweight aluminum that this thing was constructed out of. No, it's stainless steel. It feels like lightweight aluminum. No, it's uh, lightweight stainless steel. Okay, lightweight stainless steel then, my apologies. But even if that is the case, I'm relatively certain that if I took this, the poker, on the end of a set of tongs I have right now, and smacked it on the side of this thing just a little bit, I would dent it. It really feels that fragile to me whenever it comes to the actual metal stem itself. It feels fragile to him, but I've transported it to like 15 different places. And I haven't dinged it, bent it, nothing yet. It's just a reason for me to be concerned. For one thing, it leads me to believe that there's more air permeation going on here than maybe someone with a solder gun missed. And two, I just like, you know, some of the, some of the other hookahs that we own, they all have a certain, you know, heaviness and depth to them where you feel like it's complicated, I guess. Fucking more heavy? Now, hey, fucking heavy is one way to put it. I actually think that some of the heavier ones produce a little bit better results, but it's opinion. Oh, well. All I'm saying is, I'm, my concern is that there may be some denting that goes on here and it may be easy to damage the stem. That's my point. Anyways, That's what I'm saying. Video's running long. It's already nine minutes. Mm -hmm. But uh, you guys have a good one. Thank you, Rayin, for uh, sending this wonderful hookah. So By the way, in case so you were wondering if we had to pick a number on this one, which we haven't actually gotten around to doing yet, Yeah. Um, I, uh, I like it. It's better than average, but it's still a pretty... Standard run of the mill hook. I'm gonna go with uh, 7.5. Mm. You know what? Tony's got a 7.5. I've got a 7. I think a 7 is a pretty fair one. So, definitely something to take a look at, but you know, again, win it in the contest. That's pretty much all I can tell you. All right, take guys. it easy, guys. Hey, if you like it and you're watching on YouTube, subscribe.